can, can I buy in in increments? No, you, know, you just can't. Just little payments yeah. that all I have in. to buy all in now? Because <laughs> yes. this is, I mean, I, I do see the Jets as a team, like I've said, that, that can break through this year, but they're always hiccups in that, okay, mm -hmm. in terms of just like the Cincinnati Bengals last year, where they're coming up and they go in the Meadowlands and they lose to the Jets. This game right here isn't really a test of their ability, in my opinion, because I agree. Sauce on the outside, DJ Reed over there, Quinn, Quinn and Williams, veteran leadership at the linebacker. We can throw all the names out, but this is a test of their maturity. Yes. All right, because this is one they should win. Yeah. All right, this is one that they see that, you know, this offense is going to struggle in Denver. But they've got to realize that Denver Bronco defense is good, too. And, they, and this is one Zach Wilson pick six away or a special teams blunder away, a, 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 lapse, a lapse in focus from the Denver Broncos winning this football game. That's what I'll be looking for. What kind of energy and focus can the Jets play with today? I, I see a, a, a team in the New York Jets that knows what they have. That defense, we talked about it several weeks in a row, how fast that defense is. And you're right, Brew, that leadership at different spots that, that is added to this defense. Man, they are playing about as good on defense as anybody. And then offensively, I love what the coordinator did. All right, he sat back and said, you know what? I'm going to be more balanced. We have a young quarterback in here. I'm going to be more balanced. The first three games of the year, they threw the ball more than any team. That wasn't the right, right. formula. Right. Now he gets it. I'm going to use the Brees Hall. I'm going to use Carter, both okay. those guys, a two-headed monster out of the backfield. And I have those weapons at receiver and things. One weapon that they don't have, though, guys, is Elijah Moore. Oh. Did you see this? Oh, man. Yes. I, uh, you talk about a ridiculous thing, Brew, when you talk about teams that are, that are you know, you, you're not quite yeah. there. We, we the, maturity. Yeah, this yeah. guy right here, <laughs> exactly right. I mean, so Elijah Moore requests a trade. After the team has won three straight games, this kid, what's he played, 20 games in the league already? Are you kidding? You know how hard it is to win in this league. But Elijah Moore, you need to grow up. I'm a friend, of, you know, I, I love the Jets. Always been a fan of the Jets. My dad coached there for eight years. I coached there forever. Like, I'm sorry. But this right here, I'm not a fan of yours. You need to grow up. Okay, Elijah Moore, you're watching at home. Are you kidding me? Why aren't you with your football team? Grow up. The greatest players, all right, of our sport want to win over anything else. No doubt. Randy, how many balls? If you never caught a ball, it's like, okay, I'm going to go catch. That never happened, by the way, because you couldn't hold his jock as a player. But you know what? All right. Grow We're going up, there. Grow up and, and, and get on board. This team needs you on board, all right, because this guy right here is a special talent. But he needs to be part of the solution, not part yeah, of the Re problem. Re Rex, you sound like the coach of the Jets. Like you sound like <laughs> you're talking like the coach. And I think that I think that speaks to Teddy what you're talking about, like the maturity. Can this team break through? Can they not be the third best team in their division? Can they, you know, compete there with the big boys? Flipping it to the other side, okay? The Denver Broncos struggle bus, right? Hard, like they're just. <laughs> One way it's been it. hard for them. Everything's been hard. Brett Rippon, who? Brett Rippon. He's coming in to be their starter instead of Russell Wilson. Do they have a chance? Sam, you're talking about three percent chance. I, listen, if I'm just trying to be like optimistic about the Denver Broncos, <laughs> I went and watched Brett Rippon's only start. It happened to be against the New York Jets. He happened to get the win, threw the ball 31 times, got sacked zero times. I think that's the biggest thing hurting the Denver Broncos. Russell Wilson holding on to the ball, taking sacks. We're not staying on schedule. It's second and 17. It's third and nine. It's third and 11. That's a problem. So you have a young quarterback who's going to do things exactly the way they're supposed to be done. What? He's going to be a game manager. Hey, I'm going to give you second and four. I'm going to give you second and five. And then Sauce Gardner and Reed, they don't get to tee off on third and long. So look for, potentially, look for this team to stay in front of the sticks and they'll look different on offense, which will help everything that Denver's trying to do. And look for the energy that they come out in. In Denver, really. I mean, what if that happens, okay? What if a third and six, there's a nice completion by the kid, okay? All of a sudden, they're running the football now. I mean, the defense is like... We're moving the football, and they get more energy, and they start making plays. And if this gets going in Denver with this young kid because of it's not a quarterback that's trying to put on a cape, okay? Right. This, right. That, that's something to look at, just that yeah. energy from that team with the new Them quarterback. Them headlines would be different tomorrow if that happens. Oh, I guarantee goodness. you that. that. It's almost a nightmare situation because <laughs> if they win and Brett yes. plays great, then you got a whole other set of issues. It's going to be interesting to see how the crowd responds to him 
two out there today. Mm -hmm. Very different situations on both sides of this game because you have high expectations for the Jets, which we're not used to, and low expectations for Brett Rippon. Let's see how he handles that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.